Hi, Mike. <clears throat> Pretty dangerous to get your face near anybody. You usually turn around and back in. But this white one, he's like a little runt. He has his own ways. So the one in the middle is the smallest. Um, I call him the runt. Uh, on the left, I th think is I call the tan one, and on the right is the one I call the dark, the brown one. And then there's two more. It's just one under the deck. And then there's their parents. I'm not sure how many adults are under there. Last year, before these five, were eight. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if they all are still there. I haven't seen any of them five. Except last night, I stayed up at late. And they came out in the dark. Of course, it helps when I feed them. They're so tame, they'll just come right up to me. They'll come up and they'll smell my feet. You have to wiggle your feet to make them kind of go away. They're very interesting, you know, when they, if you look at their back feet, their, ba their feet are, oops, this one's walking. Well, somebody's down in there, doesn't want them to come in. It's, it has frozen for the last few nights. And so these guys are out early. It's like trick-or-treat. You know, they come out early for trick-or-treat. Oh, really? That's neat. I don't want pet raccoons. They can bite you. And then they wreck your furniture. They're okay outside living under the deck. And they eat the garbage. They eat the compost. That's nice. It tied these things up. I mean, it would be okay if it became mulch. But, whatever. All these tarps hanging around. See, they're... I didn't cover up my beans all the way. And my beans got frosted. And after four nights of really trying to protect the beans, and then I looked. Yeah, they do. They, they climb on you if you let them. Like they were, this, this one behind my chair was coming up and um, he was... He was going to climb up the side of me on my chair. It kind of looked like polar bears. You know? If you look at their mouth, you see that their nose is very long and their bottom jaw is very short. And so if you give them food like in this container here, they want to heap it up to the side so that they can just eat it like they eat on a slope. And so they use their hands to get everything in the right position. And I think they're also filtering through for the big pieces. Is there any static? I hope not. I'm using Willem's camera. Oh, and we have a woodpecker. And chickadee. Chickadees land on my legs sometimes. I landed on Willem's head yesterday. Oh, I'm holding up very well during COVID. Very well, thank you. We, I don't usually go out 
much, so, I, and I don't mind wearing a mask for a little while while I'm in a store. I think it's kind of neat if you do wear these masks. Now, I don't know about working in them. That must be, that's a, a horse of a different color. But anyway, I'm doing fine. I haven't gotten it. None of, no one of my family have gotten it. The numbers are very low in Canada. The border's closed to U.S., so they're having a whole lot of cases happening down there. It's a huge amount. Yeah, you have to be careful with the masks that you don't breathe your own dirty air for too long. you got to have a spare mask to put on or something different so that you're not getting some kind of a respiratory problem. Oh, he's so hungry he's going to have a piece of leg. Or how about tail? No, a piece of leg. Oh, a piece of arm. Oh, he's got to clean the stuff out of his teeth. He's got all that corn. Look at him, how he's just laying there upside down. He kind of slinks around close to people. He's on my toe. That's not funny. Um, well, no, I, 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 I do like driving, but I don't miss it. At, I don't really miss it at all. It was quite unsettling to go because I was homeless between my house and my mother's house. And so I used to stop and visit with people, which was really lovely. But sometimes I felt like I was imposing and I didn't, couldn't afford to just go stay in hotels. So it was kind of, you know, kind of difficult. The whole thing was pretty difficult. So this is, this, i got to explain things here to you. This pile here, this is wood that is being used to put a roof on part of our deck. And in this beautiful trailer, we have cow manure which we are filling up the um, beds with. And then over here, the blue tarp and all these other tarps, they're still on because it frosted. And I'm too lazy. And I know that as soon as I take them off, I have to harvest all the beans that are under there. And I really don't feel like it. Look, here he comes again. So this one is the one I think I call the tan one. And then there's a white one. Hey there. Guess my shoes smell. He would rather go try and dig it out of the grass than have it right there. Hmm. <clears throat> it's nice staying home. I've been home all day today. I've been doing all kinds of cool stuff here. I made tables. You see? Let's see, here's my table one. I just made that this today. And I have a little table here, which I made yesterday. There it is. And there's another one way over there. If you can see it. Which I made a little while ago. And then there's another one over here. That's one, two, three. Actually, there's two more over there. 
Hey, this is kind of cool. Do you realize I'm making a video? And I don't think I'm getting static, are we? I like these little raccoons. So far, they're not doing anything bad. They live under the deck with their families. I think they're from two different families. Three and two. But then there's another eight. Now, you see when he just turned around and put his butt toward the other ones? That's an act of defense. He's, because if he wants what the other one has, all he has to do is, is back up into it. Back up into the other one. The other one gets pushed out of the way. But there's the one, the little one, the white one. He's, I don't think he's out here right now. Maybe. Anyway, and he's really scrawny like this tan one but um anyway they don't get their enough food all the time isn't this a beautiful view wow there yeah, that would be the beautiful view the leaves are turning we have a new roof here. A roof over our um, over our front porch. Hi, Willem. Look at what my son gave me. Gave me his workshop table. What's it called? A work table? It's awesome. It's so cool. I've been making all these tables on it today. Oh, I heard about you getting rain. Yeah, so this is from Beta or one of those? Or did you get one that just whipped around everything else and you got it all? It's not very warm in the water up there, right? But it would have... Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a grouse. A grouse walking right through the yard. Scared the bejeebers out of the raccoon. He wants the cracked corn, but he's not, he's not friendly with me. I've never seen him before. I put some corn on the, um, yeah, just past the, past that tarp, I believe. And I think he's going to go find it. Put a pile there for the deer. Uh, a grouse. Rough grouse are amazing. I've never seen one in the front yard before. Raccoons are all still gone. I scared the daylights out of them. He walked around the corner. He's gone. See if I can make this small again. Alright. Now, on the deck, see there's these cracks in there. If you look under there, you can see where stuff has fallen in, right? So the big mama raccoon was under there yesterday, eating and eating and eating. And you see, I had all these feeders hanging up here. Ooh, it just got chilly. I'm gonna go for a walk. So we go for a little walk. What would you like to see? You see my five tables? I could show you my tables. Let's put on some shoes. Keep our feet nice and comfy, comfy. 
Alright, so here's one table. I'll get up nice and up close and personal. Hey, little raccoons, are you thinking of coming? Let's look under it. Let's see if we can see under there now. Oh, look at this. Look at the perfect view. Here's one of them. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a pretty good view with the light in there. I don't really like feeding, putting food out here because I, the cats, there's cats under there too. And the cats would come out and kill the birds. Hey, you like our new new roof? Isn't that cool? Even has a fleur de lis. Coo 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 choo. This is really looks cozy. A nice place. Here's a white one. Chicka dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. All right, so I was going to show you my table. I'm going to have to make it big. Hold on. No, it's going the wrong way. Okay, so here's the table. See? And I made a little shelf on the bottom, which helps to hold it together. Oops, I'm supposed to go this way. And I glued everything. Alright, so here's one of my tables, and I'll show you the next one. It's okay. Hey, it's just me. Here's the next one. This is made out of lumber that was used for on a pallet or something, you know, where you... was my first one and with this one I learned about pre-drilling but not only pre-drilling but the ends of the screws if they're like a V they'll crack it some of it all right so we've got that's the second table and here's table number three I painted them with this um, Stuff for um, pressure treated. Isn't that a lovely little table? Always oh, got one out there, one over here, and then we have. Excuse me, chair. Excuse me. I'll just scoot over a little bit. And then we have. We have one right there, and one right there, and the bottom little shelf, you know, you can put your, your teacup on the top shelf, and on the bottom shelf you can put your book or something. This one doesn't have a bottom shelf. Interesting, very interesting. And then this one, which I have in my hand, I'm going to put here. I think these little tables, when you have chairs in some place, it's one thing, but when you've got a little table with them, it gives it a feeling of, um, I don't think we need both tables. So this one might go better in front of the swing. I can put that there. But it's going to make a lot of noise. You might not like that. I'll do that later. So, and you want to see back here? It says raccoon run, it says, but the raccoons are all on the other side nowadays. And there's the pond. And there's Nancy's spa, the bathtub down there. 
I have a hot water hose to fill it up with. And here's the tree bench. And I hung all of my stuff on a branch. And there's the three hammocks in the with this. And these are climbing trees for the grandchildren. Little people. And this is rushes for weaving. I'm gonna make blinds. And let's see what else I should show you over here. There's a pear tree. Goes up to there. And there's an apple tree. There's another apple tree. And then in the teepee, I have windows now. Would you like to see that? Let's, should I go down there? If I go down there, I'll get totally sidetracked. I'll just go down. First, I want to show you this awesome staircase. Isn't this an awesome staircase? I know it goes right into the tree branch. That's okay. I put it there. And then you can go down nice wide steps. See? It's very wide. That's how wide the steps are. And then you have a, 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 a little thing to go into this garden. I have a garden. A lovely garden. And then over here, of course, is the one way to get to the hammocks or to this lovely bathtub swimming pool, which we must put under the deck again. Until next year, Thomas. But I'm not going to do that right now. You can tell I'm not in this side of the, in this area too often. What should I do to this area so I will come here more often? Maybe I just don't have that many offens. And I always seem to go to the same places. But this is a nice spot. But it's not quite level enough. I was leveling it. I was digging down last year, the year before, or the year before that. Anyway, and so then there's all the teacup trail in here. Aren't you glad you're here? Nobody's even here. Ben came and he has been washing the teepee with the, the sprayer hose. Get this flowers. Isn't this pretty? This is the autumn part of the garden. And those trees are part of the garden too. I planted them in the garden. So here's the tea, and you will be amazed to see this. In the teepee, well, everything's out of place right now because I'm washing the walls. Look what Ben did. Look at this. White. White. Up there, it's still some black. Way up there. But most of it is totally changed. It was like a black wall behind you. I mean, this is what it looked like. That's not done yet. Anyway, isn't this amazing? So, also, what I'm showing you, I guess I have to put things back in order for you to really see what I want to show you. Whoops, can't get hooked up here now. I have a, uh oh, that one looks like it would like some water. Mm, it feels very light. I have to go in the house too. Yep, it's house time, plants. How do you get on top of each other here? What's going on? Okay, put this here and this back there. And then this can come back here. And then this little thing can go between them. Wouldn't it be nice if there were tables between each chair? There will be soon. Soon enough. All in due time. Now those windows are going to get put in. In maybe here. And I'm not sure just exactly where. Probably in that one over there. Let's finish putting this away. I have a garden. 
a lovely garden with flowers blossoming. Don't go that far. I don't think this chair is really going to dry out again. Anyway, won't think about it right now. We'll just take it to the dump when another one shows up at the dump. That outside. Now we'll look at it. This is it. Well, almost. So we have when you're sitting in a chair, you have views. Right? So here you're looking in, there's the, the three hammocks in there. And here this is looking out over Sunrise Hillside. And that is looking down the chute, down to Fiddlehead Pond. And right out here is going to be a building very soon. And it's going to be 12 by 12 with a little porch on the front on the other side. And I'm going to keep all my basketry stuff in it. All my materials, my reeds and willow and things. And there's the road. It's the little road we live on. Look at that big old, old, old tree. Keeps losing parts. Isn't it cool to have a teepee, have windows in the teepee? I mean, who's got windows in their teepee? Right? Well, every teepee needs windows. Here's another view out there. There's a ladder I, I made going up in the tree, and then there's a bench at the top. That was my idea of a picture frame over a birdhouse, you know. Silly things comes from out there in civilization. Look at this plant. Hmm. Anyway, so when you sit in here and you have a campfire, which happens right here, when you have a campfire, then you get to enjoy all of the... I'm using those for little tables for now, so if you have something, you can put it on them. Anyway... I also have chimes in here that ring when it, when the heat rises. Okay. Oh yes, we weren't going to get sidetracked. Okay, so here we are. So here's the teepee from the outside with windows. <laughs> and then we go up here, back up our big steps. This one needs to come back up. It's just for watering the trees. Oh, are they into my... Have they dumped over the bowl now? Didn't really want them to dump over the bowl. Just, you know, because. Then the mother will stay underneath and eat. Hey, look, they didn't. But everybody left. Some noise made them run. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to finish showing you my, this is the rest of the tour. Okay, so here is this new awesome table. All these are going to become signs for Scarlet. Except the ones that I ruined. Then they became parts of tables. This is an amazing place. Hello, hello. Look, look at this. I'm going to have some shade on this very, very, very sunny deck. It couldn't be any wider because of the window. 
as wide as you could go. Because otherwise you have all your rain coming right into your windowsill. But look at this. Soon I will have a shelter over this area. See, it's, it's going to go all the way over to here to the woodshed. Wow. Wow, that is so awesome. It's going to be awesome. And it's always going to be shady. I won't have to go everywhere else to get some shade. You know? It's going to be awesome. Let's go back here and see it from here. And I'm going to put plexiglass on the far side part of the way so you can sit there and not have any wind. I think maybe that'll be fine to have it over there. Maybe I won't need it, but I think I do want that. I think I want that, and I think I want it to come out pretty far, like, like to about here. I want to leave room for the, wood, for the snowblower to go through, but it would be nice if it was like out to maybe here so I could have a chair here, you know, and then this area here beside me would all be nicely covered in so that the wind doesn't blow there. Let's see the treehouse deck. See, I'm going to be able to just go right out here without getting rained on. Oh my gosh. Look at these colors. This is such a beautiful place. So this is the treehouse deck. It's got some things crammed in it because there's construction going on, you know. This is overlooking the mop grass. Here are the raccoons out there. You see the, the lovely thatching job? It's not done. There's some more sedge with. Oh, this is going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. And now, also, this, this little teepee's coming down. That was to give me a little bit of rain protection, but it didn't really work. So, from this corner here, across to this tree, and this little black bear, who's sitting there thinking, what? You're not talking to me, are you? Anyway, so, the, it's going to go from here. It's going to start below those top windows. It's going to go over, and it's going to go over to the other railing. So I'm going to have the, the roof there and a roof here. Isn't that awesome? The tree had to come down. So this is the top. I guess I got to get this wire thing out of there. Got to sweep things off. There she be. And this is not quite wide enough to have a family get-together. So I'm going to bring it out. It's going to go straight out. I'd like to bring it out a few feet, whatever I'm allowed, you know, like if I could bring it out to this, to, the, you know, like four feet or something, that would be so cool. Or I guess that's probably three feet. Anyway, that's the idea. Because then there'd be enough room for the family. That's my spa down in there and one day when I have my little shed there my she shed then you won't be able to see me taking a bath from the road I made a lot of movies videos from those hammocks I even made them from Nancy's spa they're titled Nancy today colon, Nancy spa or something like that or bathtub outside that's Fiddlehead Pond I have such nice deer. They don't go away when I'm here. They, I say, it's, it's okay, it's just me. And they don't care. See, we have this big valley right here. See, it's really deep. 
really deep ravine, okay? And then up on the other side over there, this is terrarium hillside, up on the other side, higher than where we are, up somewhere up there, is the top, and that's Deer Meadow. That's where the deer hang out. And what I would like to do, which I know is really extravagant and who does things like this, but I'd really like to put a bridge from either this corner, teepee's going away tomorrow. Okay, I would like to have a bridge that goes over to the top there. You could walk on it either from here or or from here. You see, in this corner? Wouldn't that be cool to be able to walk right over to the top of that hill? Because I never go there. Otherwise, if I want to go there, I have to go all the way down the steps, down there, down there, and up there, and then I get there. But I want to be able to just go from here and just walk straight through into there. Don't you think that's a good idea? Just thumbs up if you think that's a good idea, okay? Tell me in the comments. Anyway, so there is my amazing house. It's the most amazing house. You know the Lord says that if you, if you do His will, He'll bless you with everything you want. It's true. Like, I've been really working for the Lord for a long time. And look at what I got. He just keeps giving me cool stuff. So I had my... Parts of the family have lived upstairs, you know, my daughter and her kids and she and her husband. They all lived upstairs for a few years and it's my gardening room though. It's got the most amazing windows. It's beautiful. I love this time of year. It's just pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm actually going to have a roof. And I guess it's the best they could do because if they had it, it couldn't come any farther this way because of the window. So you couldn't have it on an angle and come, you know, and end in the middle of the window because that would drip on the window and it would ruin the window. So this is the biggest it could go. But I wonder if you could have it so that it ended there at the corner and then well no it's all been cut to do you know I'm you got to get me away from stuff like this because otherwise I look at everything and I want to change it all have you seen the studio lately let's go down imagine that I have a studio now of course I'm 65 and I'm just still getting the studio it's kind of having issues We also have this tree branch kind of in the way, but it's useful. It caught something that was trying to go somewhere else. So, this is the wood. It can't go in there because it turns off. So, somewhere in there, I have a kiln. Oh, you're back. Well, we couldn't do that in there because the power doesn't the back of the woodshed and there's treehouse deck I've got my my un, unprepared swings are still sitting there and my um, for my loom that's there too you want to see the gardens these are all Willem's uh, passive solar dehydrators put them away and here's the table build situation. And, oh, and here's all the raccoons. Hi, Lai. Hi, guys. Well, I'm going to show them the garden, okay? You don't mind if I go down here, right? I'll just stay away from you. Hey, you made a big hole. You're not supposed to make holes. All right, now, some of these tarps have 
be folded up and put away. In fact, all of them do. Frozen beans. At least you can't go that close. So now we might have a... We can do it over the... One red one. Some taste good and some don't. I didn't really save the tomatoes covering it. Didn't save them at all. Trail. A new channel for them. And Willem put trail. A new channel for them. And Willem put cow manure on it so I can plant flowers all along there. Or whatever else I want. Are we? It's okay, I'll go around. So you had a big tour. Hi. Well, I think I'm going to go. Goodbye, folks. See you later.